Hi, I'm Barbara Troutler. Welcome to this edition of the ASP Hot Topic webisode series. In this installment, we will address recent updates to the Society of Gastroenterology Nurses and Associates, or SGNA, guidelines and standards for instrument reprocessing, focusing more specifically on an important question being asked by our customers. What do these guideline updates mean for my practice? To walk you through the SGNA standards of infection control in reprocessing of flexible gastrointestinal endoscopes and share with you some key reasons why these new guidelines are important and how you can impact you and your facility, here is Amber Mitchell, Director of Global Professional Education. Thank you, Barbara. Hi there, I'm Amber Mitchell. Let's go ahead and jump right into SGNA's new guidelines. As you know, proper reprocessing of endoscopes and accessories is critical to the safe and successful treatment of patients. According to SGNA, endoscopes reprocessed in accordance with infection control guidelines pose virtually no risk of transmission of patient-borne or environmental microorganisms. The updated guidelines presented by SGNA reflect recent approvals by the United States Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, including new labeling for some automated endoscope reprocessors known as AERs. The FDA's labeling clears those AERs as washers, disinfectors that do not require prior manual cleaning and channel brushing. This development is important for you, the OR directors, risk managers, and infection preventionists, as you frequently assume the responsibility of ensuring that reprocessing complies with published guidelines. The introduction of automated brushless washing of endoscope channels represents a potentially significant advancement in the cleaning and high-level disinfection of endoscopes. As you know, high-level disinfection, or HLD, is recognized as the standard for reprocessing gastrointestinal endoscopes by multiple professional societies, including SGNA, the American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ASGE, the American College of Gastroenterology, the American Gastroenterologic Association, the Association for Professionals in Infection Control and Epidemiology, or APIC, and the American Society for Testing and Materials, ASTM. Furthermore, SGNA's guidelines now state, the redundancy achieved by adding an automated washing step following manual cleaning can undoubtedly provide an extra level of safety. This acknowledgement recognizes the importance of AERs in cleaning and disinfection and emphasizes that diligence in application of all steps of reprocessing remains paramount in the safe delivery of endoscopic services. In addition to acknowledging the new labeling of AERs, the updated SGNA standards also outline basic steps for cleaning. For the first time, these guidelines acknowledge computerized leak testing as a key step in achieving HLD and detecting damage to the interior or exterior of the endoscope. Any slight deviation from the recommended reprocessing protocol can lead to the survival of microorganisms and an increased risk of infection. As you can see, the updated SGNA guidelines are a big step forward in endoscope reprocessing and high-level disinfection. Given recent publications, presentations, and documented outbreaks traced to lapses in endoscope reprocessing, SGNA's assurance that automated washing can undoubtedly provide an extra level of safety is both timely and pertinent to your facility. With automated washing, you can have complete confidence that you are providing a higher standard of care for every patient. In fact, ASP's Evotech Endoscope Cleaner and Reprocessor, or ECR, offers quick turnaround time, allowing you to focus more on your patients and less on reprocessing. All of this new language is just the beginning of changes to multi-society guidelines. Paradigm shifts in healthcare take time, and we are beginning to see organizations and societies 
update their guidelines to reflect the clinical benefits of reprocessing technologies. Thanks, Amber, and thank you for joining us today. To read the updated SGNA standards in their entirety, visit www.sgna.org. For more information on the Evotech ECR, please contact your ASP representative or visit ASPJJ.com. Stay tuned for the next edition of the ASP Hot Topic webisode series, where we address topics that matter to you. As always, please make sure you check out our growing library of Hot Topic webisodes available for on-demand viewing.